What's up, y'all? It's your boy Marky Chooks with the Marky Chooks Show. And today I have with me Pastor Floyd Upshaw and Assistant Pastor Clay Tony Manley. And okay, you guys just started a church, right? Yes, we did. Okay, and what's the name of it? Uh, Victory Christian Center of Lima. Okay. And it's located at 219 Northern Avenue, um, right across from Lickley Split and behind the uh, Clark Gas Station off of West Street. Okay, okay. So, a history lesson where the old KFC used to be years ago in that parking lot, right? See, you probably wouldn't remember how old you. I'm 30. Okay, okay. Yeah, you don't remember that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the old KFC. So out in Northland Plaza in that area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, you guys got some things going on. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, so on Tuesdays, starting on Tuesdays, or what night is that you for the fitness? Working out with JoJo Park. That actually is tonight. Tonight, today is Monday, mm -hmm. so that's on Mondays and Wednesdays from six to seven. So every Monday and Wednesday, we'll be getting our workout on. Okay, okay. And we were talking earlier, and this weekend we have the Women's Day. We have a, uh, our first annual Women's Day uh, at our church. Uh, we're having people like Sheila Lyles to come mine for us. Uh, Courtney Owens was does awesome poetry. Uh, we have uh, Joanne Howard. She's from Fort Wayne, Indiana. She'll be here. She'll be our guest speaker that evening at four o'clock. That morning, I preach in the morning, but she comes in at four o'clock and she's doing our Women's Day program. So we're looking for everybody to come out and help us uplift the name of Jesus. Okay. Now um, with the Back to this fitness thing, because right now it's the summertime and people are starting to get into the fitness thing and get this. What what brought on that idea? I mean, even though I don't look like I might need it, Mark, I mean, you know, uh, in today's society, we, we're trying to be more health conscious. Yeah. And, and, and we thought, you know, what better to do than have a fitness program at our church to get our church and people, anybody that wants to come in and get our, our, our bodies together. Right. And also... Uh, Miss Jojo will be talking about uh, eating healthy, okay. and you know, and we and we look at it like this. Me and the pastor, we feel as if you know we can spiritually help folk, but we also want to get them healthy because I can't help you if I'm not all together. Right. right. So we're just looking forward to getting in there working out because Jojo is known to work folk out. Yeah, yeah, she is, she is. Yeah. So uh, on Tuesdays and when I mean Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, the fitness, yes, and, and that starts at six o'clock. Six o'clock. Give me the address. Two nineteen Northern Avenue. Northern Avenue at Victory Christian Center. Victory Christian Center, and then this Sunday, Pastor, is the Women's Day. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, and that starts at what time? At four p.m. At four p.m. And we will have. My pastor told me to say refreshments, but we're having soul food. Okay. okay. So after that program. We're going to go into our fellowship hall and we're going to eat good and then go back on Wednesday and try to work that off. Right. I'm saying, okay, we, yeah, we just got there talking about doing you know, soul food. Okay, okay, okay. But soul food is good. Soul yeah. food is good. It's good for the soul. Right. Uh, in any case, uh, how, how long, as a matter of fact, how long has the church been open? Now? Well, well, we started, I started uh, ministry about three years ago and we started uh, in my home. Okay. And so we went to um, a building, we went to um, a conference room, then the Lord blessed us to get this building and since we've been there, God has just blessed, members are coming and everything is going the way God would like it to go. Okay, now, we were just talking, uh, you, you are 30? Mm -hmm, I'm 30. What, uh, and, and it's a good thing, what would drive you to start something like that in your home? What did God tell you? I came up from uh, Alabama is where okay. I moved to and my aunt she passed away okay. and when I got here I heard the Lord say stay and build okay. and I really didn't know what he meant by building okay. and then when I started to engage in prayer God began to reveal to me what he wanted me to do and that was to start ministry here in the city of Lima. Okay, okay. Well I, I commend that because um, I mean, you start in your house, I mean, it might be some Sunday, so many people won't come. The regular person will be like, man, I'm finished. This might be a good, this might not be a good idea. We're going to try something else. But you stay fast, and I'm telling you, I know from experience from what's going on with me right now, 
All you gotta do is be faithful. If you're faithful over a few, you'll make your move over me. Amen. So, you know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations all the way. Thank you. And, uh, sister, you know how to get in touch with me? Of course I do. Other than Facebook, call me on the phone. Because <laughs> she, she want to get in touch with me sometimes. And, well, all the time she gets in touch with me, she want to message me on Facebook. Then I try to call her back, and it's the wrong number she done gave me. So, I need a wrong number. I wouldn't do that. Okay. <laughs> she wouldn't do that on purpose. Right. <laughs> well, in any case. Come on back with the, okay. Also, we got some more. We're having a uh, poker run. Okay. And it's uh, it's not the church having a poker run, but we're uh, doing a fundraiser uh, for the motorcycle group. Uh, it's called the Unbreakable True Riders. Okay. RC of Lyme, Ohio, okay. and they're having a poker run, and they're going to use our facility to do registration. And it's for CJ, the young man that was killed on the motorcycle. Okay. And uh, that's going to be registration is at 10 a.m. And that is on June 1st. June the 1st. That's and, and, Saturday? Yes, it is. Yes. Saturday. Okay. And on June 1st, the first bike is out, will be out at noon. And again, we'll be having soul food there. Okay. But we want everybody to come out. And hopefully your show can come out and do some recording out there. But we want uh, the city to pull together and help this young man's family out. It's such a tragic, tragic accident. And we just want to be a help. Okay. And, and, uh, and the pastor and I, and uh, along with... Um, some other people, including my mother, Brenda Johnson, got together and said, what can we do to be a help to this family? So we'll have this poker run and have the, all the motorcycle uh, clubs come out and be a support. We're asking the community to come out. We have plenty of food, some worship going on, and uh, praying for the family. So we want to be a help to the community and help CJ's family. Okay, now this flyer is going to be hanging up in different places around the city, like the cleaners and different places. Right. Yes. So if you see the flyer, read it to get more informed on what's going on in, in detail and uh, support that. Uh, I, I, I heard about this accident a few days ago. Mm -hmm. That's very unfortunate. The uh, motorcycles, I don't have a motorcycle, but from experience, just, you know, I have friends who get hurt on motorcycles. Motorcycle is to be respected. You cannot yes. disrespect the power of a motorcycle. Yes. And uh, I don't know, I wasn't there on what happened, and I, but I felt, I, well, I heard, not I felt, but I heard that, you know, it was probably some mishandling. But in any case, uh, pray for this young man's family, uh, support the, this event, um, and, you know, just just be safe out there if you're riding a bike, you know, or if you ain't too sure about it, you get off that bike and tell a market to choose to. Uh, at any case, um, I, want to, uh, I want to reiterate on the poker run. What that poker run means is that that bike club, they have different stations throughout or checkpoints throughout the city of Lima. Okay. And they're going to leave our church and then they're going to go and get more bikers and they're picking up donations as they go. And that's how they got the word poker run. Okay. So we're asking for everybody to come out and uh, bring a donation to help this family. Uh, and in their time of need. Okay, so don't come out expecting to get it on and get the gas. <laughs> Not at no, the church. <laughs> right. Wrong <laughs> way. <laughs> you gotta be specific. Be Man, they have a poker down there. That's right. all right. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, you know, they do have bingo games at certain Catholic church. Well, we'll leave that alone. Yeah. But, <laughs> in any case, uh, Check us out uh, on Mondays and Tuesdays for the fitness thing. Mondays and Wednesdays. Mo I'm sorry, Mondays, Mondays and Wednesdays, Wednesdays mm -hmm. for the fitness thing. And that's at what time? At 6. At 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then this Sunday, mm -hmm. okay, we have the Women's Day. For the first Monday. annual Women's Day. Okay, and that's and at what time? And that's at 4 p.m., but I'll be preaching in the morning at 11, 11 a.m. Okay. And Joanne Howard of Fort Wayne will be at uh, 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, at any case, uh, come out support this event if you don't have a church uh, and haven't been in church in a while it, it don't hurt to go to church just once yes. check it out you might hear something that relates to you uh, I, I know how that goes also uh, y'all have a good day y'all be blessed love one another peace say peace back peace